Hey everybody, this is A7X Fan Ben, back with another suggested video. And someone asked, I'd love to see more videos on the different types of ships and the crew and the advantages and disadvantages of the types. So that's kind of covered a little bit in my uh, keyword playlist. I made individual videos on all the keywords, but there's more I could say about it um, in more specific videos. And not all the ship types, of course, have keywords. But I'm going to start with turtle ships in this video. So an advantage of the turtle ships, of course, is the keyword where um, in order to take out the mass, you have to eliminate the two panels first on shots. But that leads to the biggest disadvantage of turtle ships is that they're not immune to ramming. So you can just ram the mast off. You just have to roll higher than a one on a ram roll and the mast comes off anyway. So the turtle ship keyword, in my opinion, should say ramming cannot eliminate the ship's mast, but it doesn't. So ramming is their biggest disadvantage or weakness. Uh, the Noble Swan is notable as the only turtle ship with that ability built in. So the Noble Swan, as a result, is one of the best turtle ships in the game. Um, I'd say another advantage is that they're relatively cheap. Almost all of them are under 10 points. Some of them are pretty good. I'm just going to peek through a few here. The Glorious Treasure is a very good one. It's a good, like a suicidal torpedo ship. So when it's pinned, eliminate a crew and a mass from the rammed ship. So the Glorious Treasure is a very good one. Uh, the Noble Swan, Proud Tortoise, those ones are good too. The other Proud Tortoise is okay. S plus S, SSS Speed. Uh, the ones from the... The limited edition tournament pack ones from Ocean's Edge and Davy Jones Curse and the like, those ones are quite terrible usually. Um, they usually have slow speed and uh, abilities that are not very fitting for the type of ship they are. Like the Tomb has the Massacre ability, but she's not going to win many boarding parties with only one mast. Uh, the Bilge is an exception to that. This is an English turtle ship that's very good. Good speed, cannon, cargo. Just a very good ship in general. Um, so I would say they're okay as a ship type. A lot of them are just plagued by being a little bit overpriced for what they can do. And a lot of them are just kind of underwhelming. So, you know, L speed, two cargo, for that kind of for that kind of return and kind of a bad cannon or kind of a middling firepower ship, you want that to be pretty cheap. And a lot of them are like six to nine points. So the value is kind of debatable here. Um, and there's some other decent ones, but most of them are pretty mediocre or even below average as ships overall. I'd say the Bilge, Glorious Treasure, Noble Swan, and Proud Tortoise, those are pretty much the best ones. I think Pandora's Box is a little bit underrated, but um, not a great ship type, but still decent. I would say another disadvantage of them is actually building them. So you can see that it's hard to know how to even build them. So a lot of people, and you can see it in the miniature trading database. This is actually how to build it wrong. They don't really have a, a pointed prowl like that. I used to build them that way, even though I like evil history, but, and they, they look, it looks right that way in a way, but actually turtle ships, they're supposed to be built like this so that the pointed part goes towards the stern. They have like a boxy flat front or bow. So make sure you try to build them the right way. So that's kind of confusing. Another disadvantage, honestly, of using them physically is that the panels always come off. Uh, I've had a lot of trouble with turtle ship panels. It's pretty frustrating. I don't know if I'm going to find any good examples in the pictures, but you can kind of see they kind of rest on little tabs, but the slots are not necessarily too wide. It's just hard to like keep them on there. So if you use them at all, even sometimes when giving the move actions, you can accidentally remove the panels. And some of my turtle ships, not even because they're used a lot, sometimes they just come kind of loose. So the panels will just kind of come off for no good reason. Even if you just tip them upside down, they might fall off. So uh, so that's another problem. And I think the flag, another disadvantage of the ship type, I guess the flag is kind of too long. I think it kind of juts out from the stern a little bit too much. I think the uh, it was kind of modeled after the, some of the junks, I think. Um, I think uh, the flag should have been a little shorter, a little more compact at the stern. So that looks a little off. That kind of protrudes back from the stern a bit too much. So there's some there's some little quirks and kind of annoying oddities, I guess, when building. So you could consider that a disadvantage. But biggest disadvantage is uh, the ramming problem. So the 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 whole idea of a defensive keyword, 
unfortunately can be bypassed with a single ram and all turtle ships are only one mass so you only have to roll a two or higher so you have like whatever 83 percent chance of dismasting it with a ram roll so and then in, in terms of advantages relatively cheap there's a few really good ones um and it's still a solid keyword and most of them have other abilities tacked on to turtle ships so they're kind of they're kind of stacked up with some stuff they're just uh with like abilities and whatnot they're just not that effective for the point cost so question of the day real quick uh, how much do you use turtle ships do you use them a lot um are they one of your favorite ship types or are you frustrated with them <laughs> um and i guess have you had any issues when building them or when uh using them in terms of the panels uh popping off too easily so uh leave a like and subscribe and uh let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this type of video. I could do a whole series on this if you want. And uh, without further ado, um, go ahead and check out some of my other awesome videos on the channel. Because I've got a lot of uploads and uh, probably around 200 videos when this was recorded. So go ahead and check out some of the other stuff.